Crazy Light Scotland. It's Fiona and Molly here. Molly has got nothing to do with this video. She just decided she wanted to sit on my knee, so we'll go with it. This is going to be just a small B&M haul. I went a couple of days ago with my mum and it was great fun because we actually got time to look round everything and have a proper look and it was really good. Normally I'm in a hurry and I have to just nip in and grab whatever I want, so it was good to actually be able to look at what they've got and that's new that I've not seen for a while. So some of this might be quite interesting to you, some of it's run of the mill stuff, but I thought I would show you what I got anyway because I love watching these hauls and I know they are quite popular. So I thought I would do it for you. What are you thinking about my new angle? We, because my mum has more or less moved into the cabin now, she's moved all her stuff in anyway, um, the bed is no longer in this room so we've replaced it with a sofa bed which I'm sitting on at the moment and I thought this is actually, it's nice and relaxed compared to sitting in my wheelchair but I don't know if I'm too far away from you um, I don't know if I'm going to have to sort out another arrangement for getting the camera a bit closer to me let me know what you think anyway right, that's completely rambling already let's get on with the haul now the first thing that I noticed when I went into B&M's right beside all their skinny whips was Yes, it was the 1st of September and they have all their Halloween sweets in already. I mean, there's only two months to go, we better hurry up! What is the hurry? <laughs> I'm still waiting for summer to arrive and they've got their Halloween stuff in. No, I have to say I am actually feeling quite autumnal now. It's, it's getting to that time of year and I do love it. Right, so yeah, I didn't buy any of that stuff but I just thought I would mention to you that they have got their Halloween sweets in. I didn't see any costumes or anything like that but they've got their sweets in if you're looking to buy that stuff super early. Right, let's get into the stuff that I did buy. So, I got this Beldry at Home dustpan and brush. Now this is, the brush has got, oh, it's still attached. The brush has got the rubber bristles rather than the hair bristles. And I like that with having the dogs because it sweeps up the hair better, sweeps up the dog hair better. And we're now starting to get round to putting the wooden flooring down in the house. It's now down in our bedroom. So... I uh, will be needing this more and more because I won't be hoovering the wooden floor, I'll be sweeping it. And the good thing about that is I can do it because I can't hoover, it's too heavy for me in my chair, but I can sweep and I can use this wee brush. So this was, hopefully I'll remember to tell you all the prices. This was $2.99. So $2.99 for the wee dustpan and brush. What do you think, Molly? Do you like it? Does it get the Molly seal of approval? I think so. Right. Next thing I got was, whoops, will you please, <laughs> oh here's Willa coming to get in on the action as well, right okay Willa, um, this Beldry at home shower curtain, our shower curtain's just getting a bit manky now, you know what it's like, after a while it gets that kind of mouldy, mildewy way and it's not very pretty, so I decided to get another one and I don't know if you can see, right Molly go and get down just now. I don't know if you can see but on it it says I'm not a morning person and I thought that is so appropriate for me because I'm not a morning person and especially Abby she comes through with her eyes half shut in the morning to go in the shower and that was 4 99 it comes with 12 hooks I think yeah 12 hanging clips quick and easy to hang and easy to clean so that's not bad for 4 99 it's approximately 180 by 180 centimetres, so that's that. Then I got one of last month's favourites, my Unstoppables. I still love this stuff, I love the sound as well. Clean the maracas. And again, this was... Clean me a what? <laughs> I just came and said, you're playing with your what? I am playing the maracas. I'm not playing with maracas. <laughs> anyway, right. Unstoppables are 
$3.99 and this is the big size. This is the 285 grams. I think this is about five pound in Asda. Um, so yeah, I love this stuff. Just pop it. Hello Clyde. Do you like the smell? Poor Clyde still got his ring on. Oh. <laughs> He got most of his stitches out on Saturday, but he's still got one in that hopefully will be out tomorrow. So anyway, please pop them in the washing machine before your clothes and your clothes smell lovely. So I got that. I got some bin bags, 30 fragrance, oh Rannoch. Right, okay, they've, they've seen you all now. Can I get on with the video? Sorry if the angles changed, Rana just moved you with his big hairy butt. Right, so I've got 30 swing bin liners. These are fragranced and they are 50 litres and they were £1.99. Self-explanatory what we need bin liners for. I got Brooke some Colgate toothpaste. She loves the pumpy kind of toothpaste rather than the squeezy kind. And it seems to last her longer because the squeezy kind, you know what kids are like. They squeeze from the middle and they throw it in the bucket and there's still half a tube left. Molly, really? Um, I was going to get the Aqua Fresh because she likes the triple colour stripe thing, but it was a lot more expensive. This one was £1.29, and I'm sure the Aqua Fresh was about £3 or something. And I thought, no, I'm not paying all that extra just for some fancy stripes. So, toothpaste. I got, I'm desperate to try this actually, some of the. Now Clyde's just moved you. I don't think this angle's going to work. <laughs> I might change for the next video. Right, I got some of this Original Source Tropical Coconut and Shea Butter Shower Gel. Now, I do like the Original Source stuff. I like the mint stuff, but it does tend to nip your bits, if you know what I mean. Ran, I just moved you again. Um, yeah, so I do like the mint one, but I thought I would give this a go. Tropical coconut and shea butter sounds amazing. And it's 100% natural fragrance. It's vegan and it's 500 mils. And this was £1.49. Bargain. The original source stuff is really quite expensive at your main supermarket. So that's definitely a good bargain. I got these for Brooke, she really enjoys them. It's the Quick Milk Sippers in the chocolate flavour. Now you get five in a pack, they're gluten free. And this was 39 pence for the five. Now, I believe they're quite low calorie as well. Per product, there's only 23 calories in one of these. So if you're calorie counting, um, that's not bad to have along with some milk. And if you're on, Slimming World, I think there may be a sin per straw. So that's actually pretty good to have with your healthy extra egg. Obviously I'm keto now so I won't be having them, but yeah, it's a nice way of jazzing up your milk. Brooke loves it. Of course she does, it's chocolate. Brooke loves anything chocolate. I got some Persil washing up liquid. Now I don't do the dishes very often. We've got a dishwasher that does the work for me. However, I do sometimes have to steep things if there's like if the trays are quite greasy or um, the bowls are a bit eggy or whatever. So I do like to keep some of this in. Uh, I do like to keep some of this in the cupboard. So if I'm having to steep things, just put hot water and some of this in before it was in the dishwasher. Right, this was 79 pence and the reason I picked the personal up, I really don't care what kind I get, I normally just get the own brand. However, the Fairy Liquid and the sort of unknown brand in B&M's were both a pound. And I thought, I'm not paying a pound for an unknown brand, which is the same price as the Fairy Liquid, when I can pay 79 pence and get personal. Oh, I'm looking forward to smelling these. I've deliberately not smelled them yet. I wanted to wait and do it on camera. This is the Home Inspiration by Yankee Candle. I like the fact that B&M's are now doing Yankee Candle. They're doing the actual candles and the wax melts. And this is the Cranberry Zest. These were £2.49, so more expensive than the, the other brands of the wax melts that you get. But you do get six in here. And I want to have a smell. Hmm. Smells more orangey than cranberry. 
it's nice, but not quite as nice as I thought it was going to be. Maybe once I actually start burning it, I like it. I know that's more a sort of Christmassy smell, but as soon as it gets to the autumn, my Christmas smells come out. In fact, all year round, my Christmas smells are out because I just love Christmas. So, yeah, that was that. I got some of the good old pink Himalayan salt, which is really good for you, certainly a lot better than your table salt. This was only a pound for the massive big grinder and you'll pay like three times more for half the size in your major supermarkets. So if you like your, yes Willa, uh -huh. if you like your pink Himalayan salt, definitely get it out of the likes of B&M bargains or home bargains. Save yourself a wee bit of cash. We're nearly there for this lot. Now, I'm looking forward to trying this because I've never seen it before and I can have it. Anybody remember, I know you still get them, but I've not had them for years. The million sweets, the wee tiny, tiny, chewy sweets that you get in all the different flavours. It now comes as a fizzy juice. Ooh. This is the fizzy strawberry flavour, millions. And there was a bubblegum flavour there as well, but I'm not keen on bubblegum flavour, so I just got the strawberry one to try. It is sugar free, don't you know? And where's the details? Per can, there are three calories in the whole can. And there are zero carbohydrates. Not only that, the sweetener that's in it is, yes, the sweetener is sucralose, which means not only is it keto friendly, but it's fasting friendly because sucralose doesn't break your fast. I am getting good at just having normal water in the mornings before I actually open my eating window. However, at night, I do sometimes still like a flavour to my drink. So... <laughs> Oh, these dogs. So when I close my eating window and start fasting at night, I can still have something with a bit of flavour in it and it's not going to break my fast. I love it. I love it. Well, I taste it. Well, see what it's like. I really hope it's nice after all this hype. It was 49 pence for the can. So not too bad. It's a 250ml can, I believe. Yes, 250ml can. Let's have a taste. I've deliberately not wanted to taste it until I was doing this haul. Oh, it smells very strawberry. Mmm. Wow. That's got a lot of flavour. Very strawberry. It has got a little bit of the sort of tartness, sourness that you get with million sweets. Mmm. Lovely. And it's not too fizzy either. That would be really nice in the fridge. Really like that. I'm going to put this down before I spill it. Oh. Do you know what else it reminds me of? It reminds me of strawberry chewets. Yeah, strawberry chewets, that's what it reminds me of. Yum. Really, I'm definitely going to pick up some more of that when I go back to B&M's. I just got the one can because I wasn't sure what it would be like, but I'm going to make another trip just for that. And I might get some for the girls as well. We'll see. They were quite excited when they saw it, but... I was like, nope, you're not touching it. That's for my haul. I might save some for them when they come in after school. And the last thing that I've got in here just now is some mist juice. Now this is an energy drink. However, it also contains B vitamins and BCAAs, which stands for branch chain amino acids. Now for anyone who doesn't know, branch chain amino acids are essential amino acids in that your body can't make them, so you have to get it through your diet. They're very good for people who are working out, exercising. Obviously, I'm not at the moment. Um, however, they are believed to be good for weight loss as well. So that's a win-win for me. Now, it is sugar-free because obviously I'm keto. It's also aspartam free, which is a good thing because nobody likes putting poison in their body, apart from the fact that I do it every day with my Pepsi Max. However, um, anything that is aspartam free is good for me. Now this is a blue raspberry flavour. I have not tried this before. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Um, 
Miss Juice Extreme Energy is a carbonated blue raspberry flavour caffeine drink with branched chain amino acids, B vitamins and sweeteners. Now, the sweetener is sucralose, yay, which means that you could have it when you're fasting. However, it also has ASK or acid sulfur potassium, which does break your fast. So this is not suitable for when you're fasting. However, I'm going to taste it just now, even although my eating window doesn't officially open for another hour, I'm going to taste it just for you. I will sacrifice an hour's worth of fasting just for you. And it also contains vitamin B12. However, that won't do anything for me because I have pernicious anemia. I have to get it injected into my body because I can't absorb it. Right, well, we give it a taste. Oh, let's have a wee look at the calories and things. Per 500 ml serving, there's 15 calories. That's not bad. That's a massive 500 ml can. There is no fat. There are... 1.67 grams of carbohydrates for the whole can and that will I'm not sure where that comes from actually however now and again if I'm needing a little bit of a pickup I'm happy to use 1.6 grams of carbs on a 500 ml drink I get 20 in a day so that's fine that's not a problem and none of those are sugar obviously and protein, there's 1.4 grams of protein in the can. There's folic acid, there's niacin, there's vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. So yeah, well I have a little taste of this just for you lot. I know you've maybe already tried it. I think, um, is it Vicky? Does Vicky Simpkiss drink this? I'm pretty sure I've seen Vicky with this. Oh, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Well, it's, it smells nice. Wow. Oh, it's sour. Nice though. That is lovely. Oh yeah. I'm not a huge fan of energy drinks normally because they all have the same sort of Red Bull taste to me and I'm not a Red Bull fan. And sometimes the zero sugar energy drinks are too sweet because it's aspartum that's in it and not sucralose. But because it's a sucralose, it's actually not too sweet. I'm very impressed with that. Yes, I would recommend. This was... Um, this was only 89 pence for a 500ml can. That is excellent for an energy drink. You're normally talking about £3 for a can of energy drink in some places. So that is excellent. Hello Willa, there's uh, no room there. I'm going to make room mum. Yes, I am. Right, so that's everything from my sort of run of the mill section. Then I got further round and discovered they were putting out this. Friends stuff in B&M's. Central Perk. Look at the size of those mugs. You're my lobster. We were on a break. Look. Oh, they're brilliant. I love them. I love them. How you doing? <laughs> yes, B&M Bargains is now doing a friends section. How excited is that? I didn't pick anything up because there wasn't any prices on any of it. Um, I think they were just putting it out on the shelves, so I didn't put any prices out on it. And there was also Harry Potter stuff as well, which I'll come on to in a minute. But more exciting than that. A lot more exciting than that. Guess what else I came across? Yes, they've started putting their Christmas stuff out. Yay, it's September, it's Christmas, woo! And I do believe is that the Sony Movie Channel has now started their um, Christmas movies 24-7. Woohoo! Cannot complain at that. In fact, it was so Christmassy, just seeing all that stuff out there, that when we came home on the Sunday, my mum was still staying in the cabin that night. Brooke went into the cabin with my mum and they sat down with a hot chocolate and watched a Christmas movie. Ah, how exciting! Yes, it was the 1st of September. Who cares? Who cares? It's Christmas! So, let me show you what I picked up for a few Christmas presents. 
I've decided this year that I want to be organised for Christmas so if I see any little bits and pieces that aren't too expensive for the girls I'm just going to start picking them up. Now I say that every year and I have great intentions at the start and then I still end up rushing about at the last minute but I'm not going to this year I'm going to be good hopefully. Right so Molly careful. The first thing I got I mentioned that there was a Harry Potter section was Harry Potter playing cards. That's what it, that's what the actual cards look like. Now I got these because um, we we'll love playing cards when we're away in the caravan. So I decided to get Brooke. Brooke's right into Harry Potter. I think it's our third time of reading the whole book series now. Um, maybe our fourth time she's on to now. So she loves Harry Potter. So I decided to get her these cards for her Christmas because. It means that we can have some cards in the caravan but we can also play cards when we're at home as well because she does really enjoy it. Now I don't know how much these were because they hadn't got around to pricing the Harry Potter stuff either um, or they had got around to pricing some of it but not all of it and this wasn't priced so I'm hoping it wasn't too expensive. £3? That's not too bad. I know you can pick up normal playing cards really cheap but £3 for Harry Potter that's not too bad. So Brooke will love these. I also picked up for Brooke, I know, it's absolutely gross, some magic poo, it's basically just putty or slime if you want to call it, but in the colour and guise of a poo, and it says gloopy, gooey, stretchy, stretch it, mould it, twist it, squash it, pop it, pop it, I love that game. Um, yeah, and it was only £1.99, so it's a good wee stocking filler for her. She loves any kind of slime, and anything that's got poo attached to it will appeal to her. Okay, now, this one, this is the only thing that I picked up for Abby. Abby, at 15, is getting to that really difficult age. She's hard to get wee stocking fillers for. She will still have a stocking, because I still get a stocking, and I'm nearly 44. But... It's trying to find things to go in it, so it's going to be like smellies and makeup and things like that probably. So I saw these, she does love the So body sprays, and this has got the So Kiss Me, So Exclusive, So Just the Normal So, and So Sinful. So four 50ml sprays of the So stuff. It says So Minis Galore, and this was... $2.99 which isn't bad because the soul sprays can sometimes be quite expensive and it's a nice wee gift pack so that will go in Abby's stocking. Better hope they don't watch the, this vlog eh? I don't think they will. Right and the last thing that I got but I have got some other stuff to show you as well so don't disappear. The last thing that I got was for Brooke. Now if you watch this channel at all you will know Brooke is horse mad everything's about horses, she loves horse riding, in fact she's actually just decided she's going to give up her swimming lessons so that she can have an extra horse riding lesson every month. Um, she said I can swim now anyway mum, I don't need to learn to dive and, and learn to swim further, I can do that on my own and I thought well fair enough, saves me having to go out after school every Monday and um, so yeah she's decided that she wants an extra horse riding lesson a month which is fine by me. So I got her this. It's a lovely horse, it's got a real mane and it's got a brush and comb and it's sort of like a suede material rather than being plastic and she will just love that. It was £14.99 and she'll definitely play with it. She doesn't play with a lot of toys now but her horsey things she does play with so yeah I decided to get her that as one of her parcels. We're not sure what we're really going to get her this year. Um, because she got all her like Jod Persian rights hat and everything for her birthday so We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right, the last lot of stuff I'm going to show you is stuff that my mum bought, but I wanted to show you what she got. I've not got all of the stuff that she bought, but this is stuff that she was buying and giving to me. So hold on and I'll show you. Right, so my mum has got, she wanted candles for her cabin. Um, not to light because it's wood. <laughs> we don't want it burning down. Um, just to look pretty. 
and smell pretty and she wanted them for under her um, she, there's like a glass shelf on her television unit and she wanted it sort of between the bottom bit and the glass shelf and her colours in the cabin are sort of greens and yellows so she got one of these which is the sweet pear and apple does that smell nice wouldn't it? oh that's nice and it is it's lovely it's a very sweet smell and it was £1.99 um, and she got two of these ones which is the mandarin and cassis so they're nice nice green and yellow colour that's lovely as well very fruity and unfortunately they don't fit they're too big so she has given them to me so I'll find somewhere nice to put these so I have inherited three candles that's the other yellow one she got Brooke um, I got Brooke the chocolate straws and my mum got Brooke the lucky box which has got strawberry, banana and forest, forest fruit flavours easy for me to say and that's with my teeth in these are also these are 24 calories each so again they're slim and world friendly or calorie counting friendly there's 13 in the box and I cannot remember the price of them I've not got the receipt here I think it was a pound or something if I can find it I'll put it on the screen for you she also got the LOL detangler for Brooke's hair um, Brooke still loves LOL surprise dolls and things like that so my mum thought that would be quite cute to get her I thought she was getting her as a stocking filler but she's already told her about it so more fool her um, and it just says making my entrance ooh very posh detangling hair spritz again I can't remember how much it was I'll try and put it on the screen for you um, but yeah we always use detangler when Brooke's washed her hair because it does get rather tuggy and the last thing that I've got here, you'll be pleased to hear after all this time, is talking about Christmas. A letter to Santa bumper pack. Yay! This was one ninety nine, and it includes a letter to Santa, an envelope, a pencil with a razor, a sticker sheet, door hanger, and five thank you notes with envelopes. So, again, Brooke already knows that she's got this, so she will put that away for Christmas and get all excited thinking about it. So yeah, Christmas things again, yay! And um, so that is it. That is everything that we got from d &Ms this week. I hope you have enjoyed this little haul. What do you think of the angle? I'm not sure. It is more relaxed, but I feel awful far away from you. Can you hear me okay? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know it's been annoying with the dogs, but they have finally settled down. So let me know what you think let me know. Right, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to comment down below. I will always reply to you. Right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!